This is Ken Clark in his element. Anna, what a change to meet you in the warm and dry. Of course, the affability has its purpose. His chance of becoming Conservative leader depends on convincing party members he's more popular than his rival, hence his visit to Potter's Bar. Uh, the aim, if you wish me to candid, is to get a decent photograph in the local Hertfordshire newspapers. Uh, and uh, with any luck, we will do that. I'm actually going to make best use of the 20 minutes by asking people, particularly non-Conservatives who I meet, um, whether they voted for us, and if not, actually asking them why. And the answers weren't always helpful. What will make the Conservative Party more attractive? Bribes. We accept bribes. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Glad to know that 18th century politics is alive and well. <laughs> Conservative members account for less than 0.5 of the population, so it's only by luck he meets one on the streets, and he doesn't share his analysis of what went wrong last time. Do you think we were campaigning on the right subjects, or should we have brought I would have in? thought so, yeah. I yeah. don't know why you can't get through to the electorate, really. <laughs> we try can't, work, can't work on ways to try hard. Do you think the party was right to campaign on Europe last no, I'm, night? I'm, 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 I'm not a keen European, to be honest. Well, he's, he mm. represents yes, European. Yes, I know. <laughs> I'm watching closely. <laughs> <laughs> One vote for Ian Duncan Smith. Before leaving the high street, a local doctor reminds him that his record as health secretary is not necessarily a vote winner. The bureaucracy associated with the front end was huge. Yeah, uh, and, and it did and, get and, too big. And it was very it? expensive. But at the local Conservative club, he has his admirers. I hope that the party have got enough sense to bring in Ken Clark, because I feel that he is the one person who could over the next few years, really bring us together. Mm. Well, the one, one big complaint I've had about Ken Clark is that he wears suede shoes. <laughs> I think that's, that's a fall <laughs> rather than against. This election is about electing a leader who can win back all the millions of voters the Tories have lost. But the electorate, of course, is restricted to party members and they guard that privilege jealously. So when Ken Clark came to speak, we were asked to leave. and We were left standing outside, listening to the odd gurgle of laughter and rumble of applause. Only a minority of the questions were about Europe, but it's on Europe that the members wanted reassurance. He made it quite clear that he never was a federalist, never will be a federalist, and that he really for um, independent nations in Europe. I think the question he hasn't answered is how is he going to bring about reconciliation and unity within the party in order to make it electable? Arrogant is a bloody arrogant individual and I dislike him and if he gets in I'll tear up the membership of the Conservative Party and that's that. Tomorrow Ken Clark comes to Scotland. He's hoping that in this electoral desert for the Conservatives party members will be particularly appreciative of his ability to win back voters. But this morning Ian Duncan Smith got here before him in his role as local hero.